Hi, my name is Todd Luciano. I'm publisher of Products Finishing Magazine. I'm here today with Ann Goyer, Executive Director of Chemical Coders Association International, otherwise known as CCAI. We're here to talk about Fabtech 2017, this fall, November 6th through 9th in Chicago, Illinois at McCormick Place. Hi, Ann. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Todd. Uh, I was wondering before I asked you some specific questions, if you give me a little background on the history between CCAI and Fabtech. Sure. It was back in 2009, we approached the other four Fabtech partners, and we talked to them about bringing a finishing element into Fabtech. Fabtech is all about metal manufacturing, forming, fabricating, stamping, um, welding. And the, the missing component to that was finishing, the very final thing you do in the, the manufacturing process. So we spoke to them for about a year to work out the details, and this will be our eighth show as a Fabtech partner. We have a finishing pavilion uh, that has about 200 exhibitors this year, and we're very excited about how it's grown from back in 2010 to now. Great. So tell me, what can visitors of Fabtech expect from the exhibits? Well, first of all, it's overwhelming. There's over 1,700 exhibitors overall in Fabtech and all the pavilions. And even in finishing alone, like I said, we have 200. Uh, you're going to find everything you need for your manufacturing facility, whether it's welding, fabricating, and especially finishing on our end. Um, you're going to find everything from powder coating materials, paint, pretreatment chemicals, application equipment, uh, system design houses, anything that's related to industrial finishing, you're going to find on the Fabtech show floor in CCA's finishing. What can visitors also expect of the sessions and tracks? Well, along with the wonderful show floor we have, we have worked very hard to put together this great educational conference program. Um, CCAI is dedicated to providing good education to um, help current finishers advance and to let other people that aren't in finishing know what the possibilities are. Um, this year we've got 28 sessions, totaling uh, 56 hours worth of educational content. And again, it also covers everything from paint, powder coating, e-coat, porcelain enamel, anything you want to know. And not only do we gear the education towards our current industrial finishers, we've got some education that's focused for those who may not be quite so sure what finishing is all about, the welders, the fabricators that might want to either start a finishing operation inside their facility or just to understand if you're jobbing, you're, you're finishing out, what kind of things you might need to ask a, a job shop when you're doing those kinds of things. So the educational sessions are an important part of Fabtech as well. Certainly sounds like a great opportunity to learn more about finishing technology. Absolutely. Uh, can you tell me, are there any special keynotes or featured speakers in regard to CCAI? Yes, actually this year we have a, a very exciting project that we're working on. Albert Paley, who is a famous sculptor, and Jesse James, who is a TV personality, um, have combined for a project and they're going to collaborate and build two sculptures, metal sculptures. They're going to start, and when they're halfway through, they're going to ship the sculptures to one another, and the other person's going to finish it. These two sculptures will be um, displayed at Fabtech, unveiled at Fabtech at our opening session, and Jesse and Albert will be there to discuss the entire production process. And this, this whole production is going to be filmed by WXXI in Rochester, New York, for a PBS documentary on the manufacturing of metal products. So it's very exciting because after Fabtech, they're going to auction those off, and the five uh, Fabtech partners are going to benefit by receiving the proceeds from that auction. So we're really excited. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this, um, funding a, a PBS documentary, and we think it's going to bring great exposure to all the manufacturing technologies, especially finishing. Yes, it's certainly a unique way to highlight all the technologies at display uh, at Fabtech. Yes, it is. Right. And thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate the insight into Fabtech. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Todd.